Fifteen years ago, it would be difficult to run a publishing company uh, here in Connemara, especially a company which is focused on the international market. But nowadays, um, communication is so effortless that it is completely possible. And uh, to the companies we work with in other countries, um, we could be in the next room, or we could be in Dublin, or indeed in Connemara, and it's all the same. Being a publisher of books in Irish is particularly challenging because it's a small market. But we have found that there is a market further afield for our books. So far, we our books have been translated into eight languages, including Chinese, Korean, French, and closer to home, Scots Gaelic. Since I've started really uh, trying to connect with the international market, uh, it has helped me to kind of reimagine what I'm doing and to look at myself as uh, not as an Irish language publisher, certainly, but as a boutique publisher, as a European publisher, as somebody who is drawing on the tradition that we have in Ireland and presenting it to the world. <laughs> Even since I started going to book fairs in 2006 as a buyer, technology has just uh, made things a lot smoother and a lot easier. For example, um, we would always bring an iPad now to uh, to the book fair and we can show, um, as well as the, the, the books that we have published and completed and printed, we can show them artwork from stuff that's coming up so that we can see, we, they, we can show them very quickly um, a range of three or four or five books that are in the works. If there's interest, we can send PDFs of books that uh, we have published or are working on. So that the flow of information is just so quick now. And that really works in our favour. Yeah.